welcome to Everyday Moodlings. Uh, I'm Jerry Parks, I'm your host, and this week we are going to be talking about brads and working with brads. Oh my gosh, I am a huge brad addict, like seriously a brad addict. So um, they burst onto the market a while ago, so I'm sure you probably have some in your stash. And I have a quite a large number of brads. I typically use brads on almost every product, project that I do. And one of the ways I normally use them is to attach other things. But they certainly can be the star of the project. They come in so many different sizes and varieties. Even today, some of them are a little bit harder to find because they're not quite as popular. But um, you can find them in different colors, large, these are the small ones. These are really pretty easy to find still. Um, I think I have an eyelid in there too. And what is a brad? Well, that's pretty simple. It's just a metal top or a colored top. We also have pearl tops or gemstone tops. And then it's got two prongs on the back. And those prongs can be uh, pried apart and used to secure other things. So, um, I'm going to use them today as an attachment to attach some string to my tag that I'm working on. But on the blog there is a list of 12 different things that you can do with brads uh, for your projects. So if you're looking for some ways or some ideas to dust off maybe an old product and, and give it some new life, check out that list. And we're going to get started on our tag today. So today we're actually doing a Halloween tag. And you can see I've already started it and I've added in the brads. So the inspiration for this tag actually started with a new product that came into my life. I adore these stamps these crazy bird stamps and I also got was able to get the dies these are super popular right now I haven't um, yet gotten the accessories that go with the birds I'm not sure I'm gonna get those but I think these are adorable and so we're not working with these today later on we will work with these but they reminded me of another stamp set that I had and you know how I like to pull out old things. So, this, these, uh, I actually have a number of them. They are from a company called Peachy Keen Stamps. You can actually still purchase them uh, through their website. Looks like they're downsizing a bit, so they're having a big sale right now. So, if you are interested in a place to go to get face stamps, they're a great source and they have a huge variety. Uh, this and many of them actually coordinate with some of the older um, Cricut cartridges. This one here is for created, um, created Critter. And, but the one we're going to be using today is for the Mini Monster cartridge, which is this one right here. And as you can see, I have yet to use any of these because if I had... they would have already had some black on them because obviously I'm stamping these in black so and I, I'm not seeing any black on there so obviously I'm they have yet to be used and you know how I feel about that so super excited today I'm using some old stuff as well as some new stuff along the way too so I've already started my tag and I have my brad in here and what we're gonna do actually is use them to create a um, to create actually a background using thread. We're going to do some fiber art here, basically, and I'm going to wrap those around all of the brads that I have on here. Now you can also see, obviously, I've, I put in all those brads, so you can see them on the back of the tag. If this bothers you, you can go back and go ahead and cover this with another piece of paper if you'd like. It's not really going to bother me too much. No one's going to see the back of it. So all we're going to do to attach this string is actually wrap it around these brads. 
Now you can see I kind of have a pattern here and it would be easy just to go ahead and use that pattern, but I'm looking for something a little more funky, a little more interesting to go with my die cut, which is kind of funky too. So um, we're just gonna wrap it around randomly. I'm looking for more of a random pattern. And I'm just using floss. Okay, so I've got it wrapped around that first brad, and I'm just using floss. But instead of, you know, most floss comes with six strands, um, to it and I am just using three because I thought six might be too thick to go around the brad and I am wrapping it completely around each brad before I go to the next one. And I don't have any rhyme or reason here. This is really meant to be random. You want to make sure you go ahead and end with the same one you started with. That way you can tie it off nicely. But I wouldn't worry too much about your thread coming out. It's going to stick behind there pretty well. And then you just want to cut off the end. Now you can see my ends there a little bit. I could take a um, tool and just kind of shove them in a little bit. But I'm not too worried about them. I'll probably leave them as is. Okay, so what else are we using today? We are using, like I said, some die cuts from the Mini Monster set and actually cut them out in watercolor paper so that I could color them. And I'm actually coloring, coloring them with Delusions ink spray that I've put into some water markers, water pens. If you want to learn more about how to do this, I have a class right now for spray inks and we talk about that in there. Now since I've created a pretty dimensional background for my tag, obviously all the pieces that go on top uh, I'm going to be using a lot of uh, foam dots to set those. So this will be a pretty dimensional piece once I get done. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the music and uh, we'll get
So we got our tag done. Kind of a fun, um, funky little tag. Um, a little more on the cutesy side than sometimes I do. But it's always fun for me to pull out some different or interesting um, or older products that I haven't used for a while. So, um, but you can still see my kind of art, my my fiber art behind uh, on the background. That's just one of a huge number of ways that you can use brads on your products. So I hope you enjoyed this particular tag. Uh, I know it is August, but it's always fun to think about fall, especially when it's a billion degrees outside. So uh, I'm sure this will be one of many different Halloween and Thanksgiving and fall tags that I do as we approach that season. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you pull out your brads and use them in some ways that you didn't think of uh, before we started the video or that you just use them. If you have any questions, please, please be sure, I'll get that out, please be sure to let me know and we will see you next week with a brand new product.